Yeah, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Splits with me, Fujit. Hello. I want to talk about the T57 Heavy, the American Tier 10 Heavy. Being a Blitz YouTuber creates a quandary for me sometimes. I mean, do I bestow upon you all the stats of the tank? Shall I explain in minute detail the dispersion, camo profile, DPM and stuff like that? Or shall I just ignore all that and tell you how to play the darn tank? A majority of the Blitz players aren't really interested in the stats of a tank as such. They like to hop into a game to blow stuff up, have a little bit of fun doing that and hopefully along the way get a little bit better. It's only a small proportion of the overall player base that actually take the game seriously enough to want to know the smallest of details and stats. And if I'm being honest, I happen to be one of those players who really isn't interested in the stats. I'm not overly interested in the stats of the tank, mainly because most of it is meaningless to me, if I'm being honest. Because in the heat of the battle, I don't really sit there saying to myself, oh, the dispersion on this tank is X, and I need to be aware of that. Do I heck? I look for a target and I try to blast the darn thing. So let's turn to the T-57 Heavy itself. Okay, many have already bestowed this tank's virtues since its recent buff, and there's little point in me repeating what others have already said. Plus, all of you can read, and no doubt you have a modicum of understanding, so why should I insult your intelligence by reading out the stats when you are perfectly capable of doing that for yourself? As a tank, the T-57 Heavy has always been pretty deft, although a lot of overlooked it in favour of the 50B, the French autoloader heavy tank at tier 10. However, since its little buff, more and more are now singing its praises, as if it got a whole lot better overnight, which isn't the case actually, it's always been a pretty darn decent tank. I personally have always liked the T-57, okay, it doesn't pack the same punch as the 50B, but it's always had slightly better armour and mobility, and that's key to playing in this tank. The biggest downside of autoloaders is obviously the long magazine reload time, and as such these tanks force you to think about your positioning, and they also force you to think about the timing of your pushes. There's nothing worse than making a push onto an enemy position in any type of autoloader only to find yourself reloading and totally, totally vulnerable. Autoloaders such as the T-57 require you to think and, quite importantly, to know the maps. Take this game here on Yukon. I've taken a relatively dominant position. This position allows me to stay hauled down whilst also allowing me to have shots onto multiple targets. Contrast my position to that of the enemy's T-57, who needs to overextend to make those shots, and in doing so, they lose precious HP. Here, I'm able to be relatively safe. Now I'm able to time my push whilst I'm reloading a full magazine so I can then pressure the enemy, the enemy air is and force them to either make mistakes or retreat. And once I've emptied my magazine, as you will see, I back off fully, allowing myself time and pressure safety to reload that magazine again before I get involved in the action. Here, I am denying the enemy. I am forcing them to break cover and thus risk being smacked. This is essential play for any autoloader, not just the T-57 Heavy, and something the newer players out there really need to get used to. So many times I see relatively new players out in the open, poorly timing their pushes, or not even loading their magazine. It's disastrous, and that's where you normally come a cropper. As I said, one of the keys to playing autoloaders is being aware of the map. Here I am on uh, Black Goldville, and I'm going to take the T-57 
a great haul down tank with pretty decent gun depression to a very dominant position again. And watch me and my tune mate absolutely decimate this TD. I mean, he hasn't got a open house chance. And we're not even a minute into the game and one of their big guns is gone. This is what you can do once you know the maps. Put yourself in a nice spot. Deny the enemy. Force them to make mistakes. Okay, so that um, that tank gets a nice shot on me because why not? But I'm now going to put myself in another dominant position and try and get the FV. There he goes. He's out. Now I'm going to have a Mark VI. I've lost a bit of HP, but, but you know, that's not too much to worry about. And this is what I mean about reload. Now the Mark VI is going to push onto me. Quite rightly, I'm on my long reload. But what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to give him a really bad day. My enemy, my, my tune mates and my clan and my teammates have come around to also give him a hard time. And he hasn't got anywhere to go. Literally nowhere to go. He's out. He's gone. Now, here we go. Is he going to pop around the corner? He knows he wants to. There he is. And he's out for the count. Down goes the super conch. Leaving two super heavies left. The IS-7 and the E-100. We lost one tank, but we've got this game. Simple as that. Okay, I'm not setting the world on fire, but it's not always about aces. It's not always about massive damage. And it's every time I play this game, I try to tell people it's about positioning and picking the right targets. And that's all we did here. That's all we did. And this is how you play tanks like the T-57 Heavy. Learn patience learn the maps learn what the tank can and cannot do and believe me you'll have a great time anyway i hope you enjoyed that about the t57 heavy by all means comment and like below i've been fujit and until the next time guys stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that really is what it's all about having fun and being happy